Tonight we're staying at Under Canvas. Well, there is a hospital of exit 65. Down at the Hoover Dam. Today, right now, we're gonna. She's liking the trail. Hiking. <laughs> okay, guys, tonight we're at La Lorna Park in Las Cruces, New Mexico, right here on the river, the Rio Grande. The reason this park is named La La Lorna Park is because it was named after the infamous legend of the La Lorna woman herself. So we're gonna walk and I'm gonna walk you to the place of where it actually happened, where La La Lorna, the legend herself, um, actually drowned her children. And we'll talk about the story. And they said they saw her walking up and down the riverbank. So let's go down here. We're gonna walk down the trail and find the actual spot where um, La La Lorna was supposedly, allegedly, drowned her children. And we'll talk about the story. Okay, it says that this happened in uh, the late, uh, it was in the early 1900s. And what happened was there was a woman and uh, La, La, Lorna, La Lorna literally means weeping woman or the wailing woman in Spanish. And so that's what this is. She came down here with her children she came down here to the river with her children. She lived here in Las Cruces somewhere. And she came to the Rio Grande down here to this spot and she drowned her two children. And the reason that they see her and they call her the wailing or the weeping woman is because she's always wandering around these grounds, walking up and down through here by this river. See the brushes? See the river? She's always walking up and down here looking for her children and she's wailing and she's crying see underneath here it's like creepy even talking about it while you're walking like i am seriously looking around me this is not funny okay look let me put it to you this way uh let me appeal to a younger generation bro it's creepy out here it is creepy out here but right here on the other side of this bridge and what's so bad to me and what's creepier is they built a children's playground next to the spot where the woman drowned her children and she goes up and down this riverbank looking for her children and she's been known i'm talking about known to bring children lure them away from their parents and drown them and kill them oof like i'm just now that's just urban legend it's right? urban legend but Right here, right. see, it's dry. Look at this. This is the Rio Grande, y'all. Look. Wow. You see this? I mean, you see this. This is where she drowned me, but look at this. There is no water. None. Look at that. That's insane. And right here. It doesn't look like there's been water in here for a long time. I know. And right here is the spot where she walked down into the river and she drowned her children then. And that she is spotted right here along the same river, going up and down looking for they her children. They looked right over there, they got a children's playground. I know, I said that, it's creepy. Why would they do that? With that legend being out here. Hey. Okay, and so the story was, the reason she done it now, they have a big fire pit right here. The reason that she done it was that she was married to a man that was wealthy and popular in the neighborhood and in the town. And she got jealous of the way that he loved the children and the children loved him. And she was jealous of the relationship between the children and the father. And so because she was jealous of that relationship, she drowned her children. Then immediately, she regretted drowning her children and then she went into the river after them and drowned but it says her spirit walks up and down the riverbank looking for children to lure away and replace and that she'll follow you home if you see her if she sees you she's gonna follow you until she gets you Ooh. yeah look at this i cannot believe this is the rio grande I've never seen any spot of the Rio Grande with water. It's like the Colorado River. I, I, I don't know if they can see it as well as we can. I mean, it looks like a sand pit, a litter box. I'm seriously like, I mean, look. Wow. 
Maybe walk down here a little bit? Yeah, I'm sure you can. I mean, look, there's other people walked in it. See? You gonna go wading? No. Why not? I don't trust my luck. So, <laughs> I don't know what's out here, so I'm not going down in there, but this is literally the Rio Grande. And this is what I'm looking at. See? Dirt and sand. And if you look out across there, let me see if I can do it with a flashlight at the same time. There we go. That's good. Uh, you can see. Yeah, it's all sand. There's no water out here at all. Wow, that's amazing. Look at that. I gotta take a picture of this. I do have to tell you though, for a park, I mean, this is this is really nice. Yes, it's a nice park. But you know, I'll tell you, every, every time we come out here, there, we always find a park and it's always really nice. I'm just trying to take some pictures right quick. Uh, one second. I'm going to set this up filming this way. Looks like there's a grove of trees way down there. Yeah. Let's see if I can get some pictures right quick. I just cannot, I, I'm not, I just, I'm, I'm amazed that this is the Rio Grande. I am too. I mean, it's wide. but I would have no problem crossing it. All right, you know, I think let's go on a walk down here and check yeah. more of this out. Walk the river. It is kind of creepy out here, but it's still a pretty park. It is, it is. I could see where at one time that this was a nice, very nice, nice place. And you got to remember then when that happened with her, uh, it was just, a, you know, some trees and the river bushes and stuff. Oh, oh, I'm glad you didn't go in there, Jennifer. No swimming. <laughs> uh, you're not gonna really swim. Yeah, Prohibido Nadar. What is that? Is that somebody there? Somebody See that? It looks like a figure. Let's walk up to it. I mean, worst case scenario, it's somebody and we just introduce ourselves and maybe have a conversation. I don't know what that is. I mean, you never know. You might find the most interesting person while you're out filming like this. But I, I do admit, I love the videos. I do. I love the videos where these guys are like, Oh, gosh, it's so sketchy. Somebody's out there. Yeah, they're probably filming the same as you are. Right. It's nice out here. It really is. It's a great evening here in Las Cruces. It is. I mean, it's the 1st of May mid 70s at night that big tree right there i'm gonna go stand there you could take a picture because that tree was here when she was here i bet you're right I don't know how fast trees grow in the desert. I would assume it's the same rate as pine trees in Alaska. 
I mean, these trees right here, all of these trees could be well over a hundred years old. I'm looking at these two, I'm thinking they're... Well, that, that's what I was looking at too. Yeah. Let me get a picture of it. You know, well, in Alabama, that'd probably be about a hundred, 150 year old tree. So, I mean, that tree there, that could be 30, 400 years old. I don't know. My guys, get me an ax and I'll tell you. You know what? Here you go. I need to set one of those down, take a picture. You can do it with your camera and, or mine. But you gotta send it to me because I gotta do a pose. <laughs> These trees, I think, would be around during that time. You know what? Look how massive these trees are. They are huge. Mm -hmm. Look at that. I don't know, that tree might be 500 years old. Look at it. There. Oh, geez, they got guy wires holding it together. Oh, wow. Oh, no. What? I'm going to be under something like that. It's being held together with guy wires? Yes. So is that one. I don't know. Being around this bridge and being under this fire right here, it gives me the creeps right here. It really does. It should. But I can say I came out here to where it happened. Yes. Watch out on. But being right here by this spot, it does, you can feel it. And it's funny to me, you know. You can just get this somber feeling being here. You know, I, I have, I know a lot of people judge her for that too. And it is horrible what she did. Right here? But you just, you can't judge somebody because they made some bad mistakes. No. And I hope that the Lord has her children. Well, only God knows what someone is thinking when they're in those, in those moments of darkness. Right. And desperation. It and you're sense. not thinking right. When your head's not right, that's where God comes in. And these, like, that's just... Look at that. But that's water... When does this have water in it? I don't know. But because that's 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 that um, like what's that that thing? I can't remember what the name of that marginal grass. What is that? I don't know, pick it up. I'm just kidding. That's a seed pod. <clears throat> that's like a piece of metal. There's a frog. See that frog? Oh yeah, little frog. You see him? Ribbit, ribbit. She would go in after it, but it says no swimming. No, I don't, I, I don't trust that. Uh, oh, I'm trying to outrun the sprinklers right now. I don't like going out in that riverbed. I don't know what's out there. I don't know whether there's drop-offs or what. I really don't wanna find out that way. I'm just looking for dead bodies or, or, huh. or, or <laughs> treasure or anything like that see there's another little island thing out there yeah there's a sock i told you one day i'm gonna come up on something 
because I look. Other people don't like to look. That's how you find stuff is look, curiosity. Look at that. Looks like somebody's been driving out there. Here's some bushes. That's other people. Huh? What? I heard a laugh yeah. that caught my attention, but then I heard it was other people. Oh, there's a car back there. Yeah. There's a car right there, so I'm sure there might be people. There's a very possible people. Well, I didn't, I didn't assume that we were all by ourselves out here. No, it just it sounded like the kind of laugh you would expect like to hear. Kind of yeah, kind of, kind of. Evil maniacal. But you know, my grandmother had one of those naturally. Right, guys i hope you like the uh visit to la la lorna and a little walk around with us i hope you like the little short story and seeing the real grand drive that amazed me all right have a good night guys <laughs>